Oh, uh, they're everywhere. Sheesh! Sheesh! I don't even care. That was clean. Next up, we got Spud. Uh, he plays four to eight hours a week. He plays on PS5. He's on 7.7. His dead zone's locked in. He's got paddles. He's got a 1MS monitor, and he's got a solid headset. Cool. Definitely casual. Doesn't play as much. Tries to get some hours in at night throughout the week. That's what it kind of looks like to me. Slightly above average player with a 1.52 KD all time. Recently, I've gotten back into Warzone with the release of Fortune's Keep. I enjoy going for high kill games, usually solos and duos. Haven't managed to get more than 14. Video attached is my best solo game to date. I love some help on figuring out the best rotation slash tactics around the mid game in order to keep the pace up and pick up the most kills. As, uh, as you'll see, it becomes very slow. I think a lot of players have that problem where they, they get into the, the gameplay loop where they just don't do anything. You know, I'm a huge fan. I even changed my landing spot based on the most recent tips with teeth video, which has made a noticeable difference. Just struggling to get that last push to 15 to 20 kills. Okay. Rotations and taking bad chows, such as giving up high ground. So just like positioning as a whole is what it sounds like of what he struggles with. 1.52 KD. Well, let's do let's 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 implement chat's algorithm here. Um, all the console gamers think that playing on console is absolutely impossible. So if this guy switched to an i buy power PC, started playing maybe on 1440p, getting 200 frames. Um, if the math checks out here, I think he goes from a 1.52 to probably like a 7 KD, and he'd probably steal my live stream. Right, chat? So this guy might be absolutely fucking twisted. Hindsight, you probably loot the box or two that are right in front of you and try to and try and find a quick uh controller just fell. You try and find a quick uh loot there instead of taking the pistol gun fight, because you're probably gonna get third partied anyway. He goes to reset. Does he have motion blur on? Kinda look like it for a second. Maybe not though. Nah, maybe not. Maybe it's just the video for a second. Because now that he's looking around, it doesn't look like it. But let's see if he's whipping. Once he goes outside of this building. Sir, what are you doing? You hear something. Yep. Okay, movement's dog shit. We are a minute and 29 into watching this. You don't want to... This guy personally does not want to drop 20 kills. Liar. I think he's just lying. Another gameplay. Teep. I want, I want to drop 20. No, you fucking don't, dude. No shot. You, you literally have your respawn timer back and you have a purple Blixen. Like, in what, in what world are you not just ego challenging everybody right now? You're guaranteed gunfights. Like, uh, dude. Bang. Look at that. Blixen. Gunned. Play back up. Keep it moving. Just no movement at all. I'm surprised this guy's a 1.52. He looks like... Uh, he, he kind of, it just looks like a bot. I feel bad. But this guy, 1.52, he's like no movement. Just just needs a, a lot more confidence moving around. Spots this guy. Easy kill there. Like that. Come on. I like that. He's got 4,300 bucks. Let's just keep working here, dude. You, you see the ping? Chow. Nice. Good job. Now, okay, now he's getting busy. Guy behind him. Show me something. Grab that satchel, too. He's trying to slide the movements all over the place. Another satchel on the floor there. Nice. He steals that kill, though. Here. Nice chow. I like that. For the love of God, grab a satchel. Thank you. Oh, he got loady guns for free. That's fantastic. Doesn't... He's not using auto attack sprint. Yeah, he's definitely not using auto attack sprint. Noted. I like the stim play. Nice shots. See, that was gross. That, that was really good. Imagine if that, this guy could hit a slide. Freebie. Oh, two for one special. He's on eight. How? I, I am flabbergasted that he doesn't drop 20 in this game. Flabbergasted. 
shit on bad. So, okay, reaction time and, and sense. I feel like he's in a great spot. This guy's shooting better than probably a, a large, large majority of casuals. Also, I'm seeing a lot of this in chat. I bet a lot of you guys submit your gameplay. You're looking like an absolute fucking shit can as well. Show some respect. Thanks, guys. A lot of people like to chirp, dude. This guy's put the hashtag time in. Four to eight hours a week. We all looking at his diamond. Uh, four to eight hours a week. Hmm. I think he meant per day. <laughs> yeah, I only play eight hours per day. No team, 48 hours a week. <laughs> Buy some plates or something, Chief. You're on one. Buy some plates, dude. Deep. I have problems with slowing down in the mid game. That's because you're not fucking doing anything. Like, Go, fool. Go. What are we doing? He gunned a couple of those guys. Let's say he got like six of the most free kill, free free kills you're going to get on the keep. He's on a pretty good heater. And then he proceeds to do nothing for multiple minutes. Okay, he's finally going to grab this bounty like a minute too late. But I respect it. He, he finally gets it. He gets to it. Yo, Mur. Murduck. Thank you so much for the four. Just fried. Let's go. Resurgence is about to end. Keep your head on a swivel. His shot's fine. His shot really is. Okay, nice. Ah, ah. Is that it? Now he's got another respawn. Okay. He hears him. Ladder. Doesn't react at all to the ladder. That's like the third or fourth audio cue where he is just kind of like kind of clueless. Sir, you got to get some plates. You got you haven't had plates in f seven minutes. You saw the guy. Enemy soldier nearby. Yeah. Come on. Drop. Drop. Find some plates. Okay, let's go. Let's get it moving. Stim, like that. Okay, he's going back up. There we go. About a year too late in this game, but I like the idea. Just took him a little while to get there. I'm... I'm actually really annoyed that he does, like, I'm annoyed that this is a PR game. Okay. Lots to break down. Lots we can, we can improve upon. Number one, for the love of God, put on auto tax sprint. Number two, when you go to reset, I, I don't know why I have to say this. Every life, it's yes. like checking your pocket for exactly. your wallet. Plates, ammo, guns, radar check repeat. Exactly. Exactly what Doug said. What do you guys do when you leave your house? Phone, wallet, keys. Apply it to Warzone. Let's say you get caught. You die. You're flying back in. One, can I take a fight? Two, what gun do I got? Do I got plates? Do I got ammo? Can I do this? Can I do a contract? Can I do this? Is it busy? You know? Like, it's like a process of elimination. Okay. So, it's, he's just like... He, I'm just confused with this guy in particular. Because the first guy, Delta, that we watched, he had zero confidence in, in his shot at close range. This guy has a good shot. But his movement's atrocious. He doesn't, like, try and slide into fights or anything like that. So, like, just minor adjustments with, like, actually sliding. And he has paddles, too. He's just obviously not using them, really. I didn't even see him really... Jump shot? Did, did we see a jump shot at all through that throughout that game either? The guy's not even using his paddles now that I'm like thinking back on this entire gameplay. Did we see one bunny hop? So like very simple changes to like abusing movement mechanics. Okay. And then I thought his positioning for most of the game was was just fine. 
But then he gets to late game, and then he ends up turtling in that tower and going up and down, going for a ladder stall without the trick shot for legit. And then eventually tries to do the scav. It just looked really, really awkward. You just didn't know what to do. And what you do when you don't know what to do is you go through that uh, internal check. Like, do I have health? No. What do I do? Um, Maybe go loot for some plates. Like, the boxes legitimately respawn on the keep. Maybe, like, here. What are we doing? How are we, do how are we doing th throughout this whole period? And just, no like, just go get some plates. There's not even that many people left in the lobby. I just don't understand the decision-making. And it's not bad decision making. It's no decision making. At least try and go do something. He missed the chance for extra plates when he left winery. No, fuck winery, respectfully, Bell. He, once he got over here, he killed the guy. He reset. He, could, he had a year to go to the buy station. He had a year to do a contract. He had a year to go into keep and loot plates. He had a year to do, to do anything, and he did nothing. That's the problem. I, I, and... I respect the confidence, too, because he died to that guy and immediately goes back and fights him again. Like, that's dope. I like that. That's a good thought process. But then he proceeds. He's, it's like he just freezes. So there's a lot. There's so many simple things that this guy can improve upon. His shot's good. His movement's atrocious. He needs to start using the paddles. He needs to get in the, in the bot lobby. Hit some slide cancels, for the love of God. Okay? He's got to hit contracts. You got to, he, he, like, you move, 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 move. Every single person watching right now and who will watch this on YouTube, and if you're thinking about submitting a gameplay, if I, watch your gameplay back, record a gameplay, and see how often you are just doing nothing. It's a common thing, a lot of these tips with teeps. I'm just watching people who say they struggle to get, they want more kills, and then I see them do nothing. What, dude, it's gotta, what are we doing? Then read that back to yourself and be like, wow, no shit. No shit, I can't drop 20. Because I'm literally chalking half the game. Y'all want tips? Like, hold yourself accountable, dude. I feel like a lot of people, and I mean this respectfully, I'm super grateful for those that are watching and submit gameplay and put themselves out there. But it should be common sense, you know? Do you even watch it back? I feel like people think that I can just tell them how to drop 20. But they're doing nothing, you know? And I think it really, really, really boils down to confidence. And why don't they have confidence? Because they don't have information. I feel like they're not confident because they don't have information. They don't get money. And they don't pop UAVs. And they don't know where anyone is. And therefore, they play slow. Right? That's it.